Welcome back guys, I am Mark Wong and today we are in the tech room, your trusty companion for all things tech. Whether you are a tech enthusiast looking for the latest innovations or a casual user seeking honest reviews, you've come to the right place. Join us as we dive deep into the realm of gadgets, gaming consoles, PCs, and more. In this video, we will be walking you through one of the best budget gaming PCs available today, the Gigabyte G5MF laptop. The Gigabyte G5MF is a contender in the realm of budget gaming laptops. As we delve into its features and performance, we'll uncover the strengths and weaknesses that define its suitability for gaming enthusiasts on a budget. From its physical design to its gaming capabilities, we'll go into the ins and outs to provide you with a comprehensive overview of what the Gigabyte G5MF brings to the table. To help you further, there are timestamps and direct links to all the products in the description below. So let's get started. Let's start by taking a quick look at the Gigabyte G5 screen. This laptop features a 15.6 inch full HD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. What makes it stand out though is its high refresh rate of 144 hertz resulting in smoother and more fluid motion, especially noticeable during fast paced gaming. First off, let's take a look at its specs. The Gigabyte G5 MF boasts an Intel i5-12458 CPU with 8 cores and 12 threads with a max turbo frequency of 4.40 GHz and an efficient core max turbo frequency of 3.30 GHz providing solid gaming performance. Complementing this is 16 GB of DDR4 RAM clocked at 3200 MHz offering sufficient memory for gaming and multitasking. However, the laptop's Achilles heel lies in its 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD, which may prove inadequate for storing large game libraries or multimedia files. On the graphics front, the laptop is equipped with an RTX 4050 GPU featuring six gigabytes of VRAM. While the RTX 4050 is exclusive to laptops at present, it supports DLSS3, a feature that enhances gaming performance by leveraging AI upscaling technology. Notably, the G5 MF offers room for hardware upgrades with two M.2 SSD slots allowing users to expand storage capacity. In addition, the 16 gigabytes of RAM consists of two 8 gigabyte DIM that are removable, providing flexibility for future memory upgrades. This upgradability sets the laptop apart from many competitors as it enables users to customize and optimize their system according to their needs. Now let's get right into its gaming performance. As we evaluate the Gigabyte G5 MF's performance, it reveals both strengths and weaknesses. Starting with the drawbacks, the CPU exhibits thermal throttling issues with temperatures reaching up to 97 degrees Celsius during Cinebench R20 testing. This results in a downclock of one gigahertz, impacting the processor's full potential. Similarly, when running Cyberpunk 2077, CPU temperatures hover around 90 to 93 degrees Celsius, indicating suboptimal thermal management. Conversely, the GPU demonstrates effective cooling, maintaining a stable temperature of approximately 69 degrees Celsius during a 10 minute Cinebench run. In gaming scenarios such as Cyberpunk 2077, at 1080p high settings with DLSS3 enabled, the RTX 4050 GPU delivers a commendable average of 63 FPS. However, without DLSS, the average FPS drops to around 50, highlighting the significance of this feature in achieving smoother gameplay experiences, particularly at higher resolutions. Despite being an entry-level RTX 4000 series GPU, the RTX 4050 performs admirably and may offer enhanced performance as more games leverage its capabilities. Nevertheless, the thermal limitations of the CPU represent a notable constraint on the overall performance potential of the laptop. Next up, we'll be taking a look at its build quality. The physical attributes of the Gigabyte G5 MF laptop present a mixed picture with both positive and negative aspects to consider. While price to performance is crucial in laptop selection, factors such as build quality, port selection, and user comfort also warrant attention. Starting with the drawbacks, the keyboard and trackpad don't exactly perform as well as most in its class. The keys feel mushy and lack tactile feedback, while the trackpad exhibits a plasticky feel and inconsistent responsiveness with a notable rattling sensation upon clicking. Additionally, the webcam quality is subpar, offering only 720p resolution with noticeable pixelation. That being said, we recommend purchasing an aftermarket webcam if picture quality is important to you. 
The laptop's port selection, however, is a redeeming feature offering a variety of connectivity options. The inclusion of two USB Type A ports, a micro SD slot, Thunderbolt 4, Ethernet, HDMI, mini display port, and USB Type C ensures ample connectivity for various peripherals and devices. Despite the absence of a full size micro SD slot, the overall port selection is something worth noting. In terms of build quality, the laptop primarily consists of plastic materials, lacking the premium feel associated with higher-end devices. While the lid can be opened with relative ease, the overall construction may not be the most high-end model in terms of durability. On top of that, you might want to take note of the laptop's sound profile, with speakers capable of reaching really loud volumes but lacking in audio quality. It is worth noting though that audio quality isn't something that laptops are great at in general, so it's always best to invest in aftermarket speakers or headsets. Cooling performance is also notable with the CPU fan producing significant noise levels during intensive tasks such as Cinebench testing. While acceptable under normal gaming conditions, prolonged CPU utilization may result in discomfort due to fan noise. As for the laptop size, it measures 14.2 by 0.94 by 9.4 inches and weighs 4.39 pounds. Overall, the Gigabyte G5 MF offers a mixed bag of features and performance for budget-conscious gamers. While it presents commendable aspects like upgradability with dual M.2 SSD slots and removable RAM, its thermal performance leaves much to be desired with significant thermal throttling observed during intensive tasks. Additionally, although it boasts a reasonable price point and a decent GPU for gaming, its subpar build quality particularly evident in the mushy keyboard, plasticky trackpad, and low quality webcam is its notable limitation. Ultimately, while the Gigabyte G5MF provides a viable option for those seeking an affordable gaming laptop, potential buyers should weigh its pros and cons carefully before making a purchase decision. And there you have it folks, everything you need to know about the Gigabyte G5MF budget gaming laptop. If you like this video and it helped you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button. If you have a question or a product you want us to review, be sure to drop your recommendations in the comments below. Until next time, this is Mark signing off, reminding you to stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our tech rooms great.